A while back, I posted a video on here where I shared the story of a very, very, very dear friend of mine named Mo. If you haven't watched the video, I'll leave a link in the bio, but the short version, just so that there is a bit of a better understanding of what I'm gonna say later on here, is that I met him a few years ago when I was on Bali. He was actually working as a security guard and then later as a driver at the hotel where I was staying at. Even before I knew him properly, I was extremely uh, infatuated, I guess, by the amount of positivity and contentment that he expressed in his everyday life. At one point, I remember he was driving me somewhere, I can't remember where it was, but we started talking a little bit more and he told me about his life and I told him about what I was doing. After I learned more about his circumstances, I was even more wowed by him, his wife and what they were doing. Both of them were living a very, very simple life, him going to work every day and earning roughly $150 a month and her staying at home and taking care of the two kids. In addition to that, both of them decided to adopt six more children. He took them in over the course of a few years and all of these kids he actually found, I guess one could say, in the north of Bali. They were just kids living on their own with no family, no home, no education, no food. Um, some of them were living on the streets and some of them were actually living in the jungle because they didn't know where else to go. Everything about that for me was so inspiring and so selfless. One has to imagine eight kids plus him plus his wife living with roughly $150 a month these are extremely extremely challenging circumstances the home that gave shelter to all ten of them was a tiny room with a stove no it wasn't even a stove it was like a, a fireplace and pretty much nothing else in the room for me personally it felt more like a cellar than a home him and his wife could have been living a way 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 more simpler life if they wouldn't have adopted these kids but still they did and so for me i was like wow these two are really special and really something else after i posted that interview i created an account where people could donate if they wanted to help more and his family financially i didn't really expect anything of that i don't even think i expected anyone to donate but to my surprise a lot of people came back to me with the feedback that they were really really touched by him and his family and they wanted to help them out in any way that they could i wanted to make this video to thank everyone who donated and also give some more information on what we were able to do with the money so we got enough money to rent out the house next door to his old place for 30 years that means now they have a living space with a couch five additional rooms with mattresses and a tv running water and electricity for western standards if you see the images of the room you might not think that they're the best but for them this is a really big step going from one single tiny room to a house with six rooms especially now as the kids are getting older they're becoming teenagers i think they will really benefit from their own privacy. With the remaining money after we had all of that done, Macy the wife opened up her own store in front of it where she sells basic things like shampoo, chips and petrol. It was so lovely to see her running her own small business after pretty much only taking care of kids for years. She's even made it into a small restaurant with a small kitchen at the back where she cooks for her guests and makes her own drinks. It's pretty much become the hangout spot for the entire neighborhood. It's so great. We also got one organization to donate an additional amount of money to Mu and his family every month. This is just so that they can, in general, live a little bit more securely. This organization is mainly focused on children's education, so they might also be able to give the kids the opportunity to attend university or something in that direction at some point in the future. Nothing like that is set yet, but the possibility does exist. This is pretty much all that we were able to do for Mu and his family with the money. I'm just so, so, so grateful for everyone who donated. I went and visited Mo and his family last time when I was on Bali, and they just seemed so happy and so excited about this new space that they have and Macy about her shop. I think this is really bringing them closer to the better life that all of them had envisioned and hoped for. The only thing I can really say is thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>